Hi guys, so for today's session we're going to do a fast feet session, um, so something a bit different, obviously really important uh, when it comes back to being on court that our feet are moving fast. Um, so it would be really interesting to take you through some of the different exercises that you can do in a really small um, area in your house or anywhere that you've got that you can just uh, um, get a little bit of a space around you and really practice that fast footwork. So we're going to do a short warm up, obviously um, you need to warm up to your own level before doing this, um, I'd recommend doing one of the mobility videos on my channel before this, really good to sort of get the hips moving, get the feet loose, but just um, as a small warm up before we start with the fast feet stuff, we're going to do um, some ankle breaks to start, so coming into our position one foot slightly in front of the other and we're just going to rock forward onto that ankle really good to sort of get the ankles nice and loose, get the calves nice and loose, ready to do all the fast feet stuff. So should be pushing that range through to the front of the ankle, best that you can. And switch legs. Push the, push the ankle range through the front of the foot and the ankle. Good, keep going. And stop there. Next one we're going to do is the hip breaks. So down onto our mat, right foot forward, hands onto the hips, and we're going to rock into that front hip flexor. So just feeling that down the front of our thigh, really loosening up that hip area, hip flexor. If you want a little bit of an extra stretch, arms above the head. Good, last five, and we're going to switch legs. Keep going, tight down that hip flexor, rock into it, arms above the head maybe. Good, last five. Good, and into the groin break. So foot pointing out, right foot pointing out, 90 degree, um, and rock into that hip. So you should feel that down the adductor this time. Just loosening off all that hip joint, ready to move fast, hopefully. Last five seconds. And switch legs. really rock in, push that range at the end of the motion. Good. Next one, coming into a down dog position to glute stretch. So down dog, bring the front leg through into a glute stretch and switch legs. Keep rotating, spend as long as you need in that glute stretch position and then back out. Last one each side. Good, try and stand up. Next one, we're going to do some squats. Do 10, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then just a little bit of rotating through, really get those hips moving, rotate, bottom foot comes round, open them hips up, and then just to finish into some calf stretch out, so down dog, and just push them calves out behind you. Walk them calves nice and out, so you get a good stretch down the back of the legs. Good stuff, and stop there. 
So now we're nice and warmed up, um, we're going to go into some like bit of more of a pulse raiser stuff. So nothing that's going to fly into really fast feet work of single leg, but we're going to warm up through a little bit of double leg to start. Okay guys, so as we go into our short pulse raiser, we're going to do 20 seconds off on, 10 seconds off. And we're going to go through three exercises twice round. So our first one is double footed line hops. So you're going to imagine you've got a line, um, you know, the width of a, the T line or a tennis line and double footed. We're just going to jump over. We're obviously going to go as fast as we can once the time gets going. The next one is going to be um, squat hops. So you're going to be in a squat position and you're just going to be little hops, trying to get your feet off the ground as quickly as you can. And the last one, is in and out jumps. So imagining you've got a step box in front of you, jump off the step box, jump on the step box, obviously just on the ground though. So, so we're gonna do that twice round and um, for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Okay, so starting with um, line hops and we're gonna go in two, one, go. Try and keep your head and your shoulders up nice and high. Bounce through the calves. Use the arms. Five seconds. Quick as you can. Stop. Ten seconds rest. Next one is your squat hops. Two, one, go. little jumps, try and keep the chest, head, shoulders up, don't collapse through the back. Five seconds. And stop. Tough on the quads that. And the last one, on and off the box jumps. Two, one, go. Head up, shoulders up. Bounce with the calves, nice and quick. Five seconds. Stop. Well done. Quick 20 seconds rest. That's one time round. We're going to go again. Starting with double footed line hops. Going in five seconds. Two, one, go. Fast as you can, keep the effort up, keep it high. Intention to go quick. Stop. Good set. Squat hops is next. Two, one, go. Head up, shoulders up. Keep them feet moving quick. Keep going. Five seconds. Stop. Well done. Last one coming up. On and off the box jumps. Going in. Two. One, go, head up, shoulders up, use that balance, don't lose your form. Ten seconds, fast, keep going, fast, fast, fast. Stop, well done. So, obviously feels like a bit of hard work but mainly that's our pulse raiser done. So all of our leg muscles should really fired up now to go a bit more explosive on a single leg work. Well done. Okay guys, so next up we've got 30 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest. And we've got five different exercises again to go through. So the first one is our squat and twist. So here we're coming down into a squat position and we're twisting and twisting back. Squat in the middle, bounce, 
and come back. Okay, so from the side, squat down, twist. So it's with the feet, quick movements. Next up, we've got um, line twists with a single foot. So one foot slightly in front, one foot slightly behind. Imagine you've got a line running across you and you're just gonna twist. Okay, that's number two. Number three is skater hops with three high knees. So you're gonna start at one side, you're gonna skater hop, one, two, three. On the fourth one, push off. One, two, three, push off. One, two, three, push off. Okay, as quick as you can. The next one is grapevine. Great one to sort your feet out, not to get too muddled up. So basic principle of a grapevine is one foot in front, one foot behind. So from the side, when it goes quick, try not to get your feet muddled up. And um, the next one is single leg box jumps. So if you're imagining you've got a box in front and you're doing the shape of the box with a single leg. Okay, I'll shout after 15 seconds and we'll switch legs on that one. Okay, so 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off, starting with our squat and twist. Okay, we'll go in, in two, one, go. Use the arms, keep the shoulders up, nice and high. Good squat position, 10 seconds to go. And stop there. 20 seconds off, good set, good start. Next one is our line twists. So feet slightly in front and behind each other, twisting with the hips. Go in, three, one, go. Twist them hips nice and fast. Use the arms. Contention to go quick is half the battle with speed. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Well done, keep going. Two, one, stop. Well done, 20 seconds rest. Our next one is our skater hops. So skater hop to one side, three high knees, and skater hop back. Two, one, go. Push off the outside. Keep going and stop. 30 seconds, great one. Great vines next. So you've got uh, 20 seconds rest, 10 more left. And we're going for a grapevine. Five seconds. Two, one, go. Keep your head, keep your shoulders up. Keep that feet going. Keep the hips mobile. Relax, don't be stiff. 10 seconds. And our last one is our box jumps. 15 seconds on one leg, 15 seconds on the other leg. Switch directions whenever you want. Two, one, go.
stretch legs. Head up, shoulders up. Go balance, hips high. Don't sink with the hips. Good. Two, one, stop. Well done, guys. Really good set. So that was our 30 on, 20 off. Now, if you've got a really good level of fitness, I'd replay that section and go through it again. I did this with some of the England, young England girls, and we did that twice through. But just for the people who want to skip on to the next lot, we're going to change it up again. But feel free to repeat that section twice. Okay? Okay, so the third section of our sp speed and fast feet session is going to be 20 on, 20 off. And it's going to be four times through the same exercise. So hopefully over the course of two, three, four rounds, it's definitely going to get a little harder. So the first one is single leg line hops. So very similar to the double, but we're going to go single leg. So over the line, we're going to do 20 seconds of one leg, 20 seconds of the other leg, twice through, okay? And that'll be our four times round. Next one is going to be step over the line, three strides, step back. So you're going to imagine there's a line there, you're going to step over it, one, two, three, and step over, one, two, three, and on the fourth one, push. So fast it's going to look like 20 on, 20 off times four, and the third one round is our forward and lateral scissor hops. So you, from a starting position, we're going to go lateral together, forward together, but fast. 20 on, 20 off, times four, okay? So first up is our single leg line hops. Let's start with the right leg for 20 on, 20 off, times four. Okay, we're going to go in three, two, one, go. Keep fast, keep tall, keep that upper body upright. Keep powering through that single leg, halfway. Keep going, intention to go fast, even if you feel like you're slowing down like I am. Two, one, stop. Woo, right leg calf. Okay. 20 off there. 10 seconds to go, and we're gonna do the left leg. Two, one, go. Keep going, fast, fast, fast. And stop there, well done. Oh, I used to be so much quicker at that when I was playing. Okay, 20 seconds off, one more time each leg. 10 seconds to go. And with speed, it's the intention to keep going quick, even if you feel like you're in mud. Two, one, go. Ten to go, keep going, keep firing. Keep light, keep bouncy. Two, one, stop. Whew. Next one, left leg. Ten seconds to go. Keep fighting, fast, fast, fast. Anticipate the floor. Going in, two, one, go. Up onto that toe. Keep the heel up, push through the toes and the balls of your feet and keep moving. Anticipate the floor and go. Five seconds. And stop. Well done guys, 20 seconds rest. Next up, next up is over the line, fast feet. Okay, two, 
One. Go. Keep your head up, keep your chest up. Lost my coordination for a second there. Just shows. Keep going. And stop. Great set. So it's one done. Four of those. Three more to go. Okay. Keep that push off the outside leg. Keep the head, keep the chest up. Two, one, go. Get that dissociation between your top and your body. Relax in the top, fire in, in the bottom. set guys, two down, two to go, really well done, going in five seconds, two, one, go. doing this. Good stuff. So one more to go. One more round of 20 seconds. We're going in just under 10. Two, one, go. Head up, shoulders up. Tough. Come on, keep going. Five seconds. Stop. Well done, guys. We've got one more round of the forward lateral scissor jump, so grab a quick drink if you need it. Twenty on, twenty off. Times four, and we're done. So if you started with your feet together, it's lateral together, forward together, lateral together, other foot forward, okay? You'll get into it, okay? Let's go, in 10 seconds. Five, two, one, go. Keep that coordination going. Remember which foot goes forward and get quicker. Once you've got your rhythm, push it out. Five seconds and stop. Well done. One down. Three to go. Good little one for the speedy, speedy feet that. Five seconds, two, one, go. Head up, shoulders up. If you can progress it to not look at the floor, that'd be great. And stop, great set. Two down. Two to go, and we're done. Keep trying to be fast. I can feel my feet burning along the floor, but it's great. It means you're moving fast. It means you're moving out of your comfort zone. Okay, two, one, go. Okay, last one, and we're finished. Going in 10 seconds. 
Okay, two, one, go. watch it in time. Well done. Great little session. I think uh, one thing that's really tough is the fast feet stuff when you're at home. Ladder drills, you need a little bit more space, but you know, if you can finish your start with even part of a warm up or part of a cool down after a session that keeps them feet fired up, then I think when for all the squash players out there, when we return to court, certainly really feel that in your feet and your calves and your ankle and that drive off the tee and that, that fast pace of feet that, you know, the best players have or the better players have at every level. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, after that, I definitely suggest a good cool down, good stretch, focusing mainly on a bit of hamstring, a little bit of um, calf and feet always good to try and get a golf ball or some sort of something that you can roll your foot on even if it's like a you know a bottle of water or something that's a bit more solid that you can roll up and down and foam roll out them calves and stretch them out and that will be a great little session okay well done guys let me know what you think